uh, but away from the capital, the Wenchi High Court in the Bunu East region has dismissed the new Patriotic Party's petition brought against the Electoral Commission and the National Democratic Congress on the Sinewest West parliamentary elections. Now, the NPP's uh, parliamentary candidate for the constituency filed the petition to annul the declaration of Sydney West parliamentary results. The court described it as irredeemably incompetent and also fined the governing party 14,000 cities for wasting the court's time. Mike Rigeras, the society uncle, has been following up on this and he monitored proceedings. He joins us with more. Hello, Erasta. So what reasons did the court offer for dismissing this case? Let's go back to the Winchi High Court in the Buni East region uh, where that case brought by the new patriotic party to have the parliamentary results annulled has been dismissed. Erastus Asari Donko is there for us. Hello Erastus, what reasons did the court give for dismissing this uh, case? Well, that is, uh, there is so much noise here, but if I heard you, uh, I will go ahead and tell you what is happening here at the Techiman Divisional Police Command. Uh, the NC High Court ruled that the Sine West electoral proceedings should continue. In mm -hmm. fact, they dismissed the NPP case and did uh, a cost of uh, 14000 against the NPP. Now, uh, they've come here, all parties, NDC, NPP, the Electoral Commission, they are here at the Divisional uh, Police Command and they uh, want to continue with the process and the, the understanding is divided. The NDC is saying that they did not go to court uh, to ask for uh, recounting. And the NPP is saying that what they understand by the court uh, 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 order is that they should go ahead with the proceedings, which include counting the disputed ballot box and adding its content and making a declaration on who has won the election. And mm. that has uh, degenerated into a whole lot of verbal exchanges and uh, all that. And so currently, we are inside the, uh, uh, the station. They are trying to solve that issue out for the NDC to understand and the NPP to also understand. They come to a common ground and then they will count the ballots in the disputed ballot box and then make a declaration here, Bennett. All right, Arasta. So what reasons did the court give for dismissing the case brought by the NPP? Well, um, the court uh, said that it, 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 lacked the, it lacked merit, the case that the NPP uh, brought before it. And so it, it dismissed it uh, totally. But then the, it did not go ahead to give any specifics as to um, whether it, they should go ahead and do the counting, and what happens to the ballot box that was snatched by somebody which the NDC claims has been tampered with, and so they will not allow that to be counted. Um, it does not give any specific uh, directions as to that. And that is what has brought the uh, bone of contention here. Mm. Two parties are disagreeing on whether to count the, the, the ballots in the box or not. And so currently, the NPP has a key to the locked ballots, and the NDC has a key to the same padlock. The NDC says they are ready. The NDC says they are not ready. And so they should wait for their general secretary, who just formed out of this place in an anger, angry manner, uh, to come before they start accounting. The that is the bone of contention now. Erastus, so have you heard any suggestion being made that they go back to court for clarity on the ruling, since uh, they don't appear to agree on interpreting what the court uh, ruled on? Then it's, uh, can you come again? I am asking if there have been suggestions to go back to the court for clarity on the ruling. Well, um, the NDC is proposing that, but it's all drowned in this whole verbal exchanges, insults and uh, exchanges here okay. at the divisional headquarters. And the NDC thinks that um, they are just trying to buy time uh, by asking them to wait and suspend the process for about uh, an hour. 
And uh, the NDC say also thinks that, well, there should be clarity on what the court said, whether it was to count the disputed ballot box or to go ahead with the process as in count without that particular ballot box. And that is what is happening at the moment. And so we are waiting to see what the regional police commander and other security agencies here and the two parties could decide on or whether they will agree that they should count the ballot for the disputed ballot box and make a declaration here. Mm. Uh, at we'll leave it here. Erastus Sasari Donko joining us uh, from Wenchi. There, you see in your shots uh, members of the NDC and the MPP who are still deliberating on what to do with that ruling from the Wenchi High Court.